As we begin this week's episode of EASHL Revealed, we recall back to last week Sully taking out a store clerk, but little did he know that store clerk was adopted by the Russian black tar heroine family. But as Sully faces his day with no problems in sight, he recalls back his boys in town. They're coming up and they wanted to do things right before the big game tonight in EASHO. So they are looking to go out and get as the cool kids, you know what they say, turnt. And they get turnt off beer and his friend in the back chucking shots like he was the man himself, Clint Eastwood, doing it big and doing it right. Getting ready to go out. Finding their way to the door is no easy task when you are turned, because when you are turned, your function is turned down, you know what I mean. They have a little bit of trouble, but after some perseverance, they find their way out into the garage and ready to face the night's problems. Blue haze, some call it purple haze out in Compton, they call it that purple. But here the perp is used for tire smoke. And the boys get ready to go out and finally on the road looking for some fools to home looking for. They're jolly looking to get their rocks off. And going after cars and going up and coming down, showing what the new ride can do that his friend just got chromed out. Looking very nice, Sully unaware of tonight's actions dealing with the black tar heroin family and an agent out there in the loose but no care in the world right now for Sully as his friend says hey why don't you jump off this roof into my into the bed of my truck and so Sully says why not for the kids in Beijing why not jump off the roof his attempt not so successful and on replay it doesn't look very good he gets up on the roof without a care in the world and he jumps off saying mama i can fly i can i can you see me and then his friends like pull the shoot pull the shoot i'm trying and death awaits him Wake up, chipmunk. Time for you to pay the piper. We've been following you very closely, chipmunk. Ever since my brother died in that store shop. You have been on our eyes very closely. Chipmunk, or should I call you Snowflake? Snowflake, we've been watching you. Oh, man, I don't know what you're talking about. You got the wrong guy. I didn't do anything. Shut up, Dandelion. It's my turn to talk. Oh, don't do that. Or shall I ask you to do it again? Shut up, Snowflake. It's my turn to talk. I've had enough of you. Now that I have you here, the Russian Mafia will not stand for what you did. And think about this, Snowflake. How did you end up in my chopper? I got a chop on the back, oh, but that's a story for another day. Think about it, Snowflake. Who were you tied to most dearly in the past 12 hours that set you up? That's right. Think about it. It should be all coming together now, Snowflake. Slowly but surely. Why don't we recall the day's events and maybe that will help you. First, Jumping off a roof into the bed of the truck. Does that sound cool to you? Does that sound like someone would want a friend to do that? And then tricking you out with a night on the town with their truck in the purple haze. And then it all starts with the bruise, with the bros, the brewski bros. Drinking together, that was the first domino. It was them all along. It was them, the co-conspirators, and now... You're with me, and it's only us two up here, and the Mafia. 
We lost a member of our family. Maybe not blood related, but yet he was a member. Do you see that chopper down there? You don't anymore. That's just a taste of my power and what I will do to you. Snowflake, the games are done. You are done in this town and in this city. No one even takes a crap with me without me giving permission to lift the toilet seat. You hear me? <laughs> Yeah, man. Snowflake, you this is your one chance. Snowflake, don't jump out, Snowflake! Snowflake! OG Chipmunk barely escaping the jaws of death to get to the game. And this game was quite the doozy for the team, coming on strong with the defense. Not only the defense, but the overall play, and we're going to jump into the action. Pass up ahead to Paul. Paul coming in, makes a nice move, but he gets tripped up. So they go to the power play. Ale worthy of tail working it down low shot nice pad but the rebound comes out in the computer showing why he's the CPU putting the team on the back play continues Ale worthy of tail great goalie save keeping them in the game amazingly an Ale worthy of tail looking for another goal a turnover leads to a breakaway and if you play EASHL that's nature's own backhand forehand to tie the game up one to one. Moving on, play continues. The Blue Flyers working it in the slot. Nice breakup that leads to Paul with time winding down in the period. Forehand to backhand. He scores two to one. Tail worthy of tail, looking to put this team away, trying to score another goal. Pass up ahead, and then we transition out of that. So now the Blue Flyers, a shot, nice save. The patience and the pass down low, and he puts it in to tie it up 2-2. And almost the exact same play, catches the puck and the pass on the guy's forehand, and he buries it, making no mistake. And now the ale worthy of tail will be telling this tale till the day they die, down 3-2, looking to come back. Another poor defensive coverage by the computer and backhand forehand not the backhand forehand we're accustomed to seeing but still the little fake was enough to fool the cpu and then a ragging of the puck this is what this team did very well one of their strong suits and we're gonna let it play in real time to feel the real frustration wouldn't make a move and they just, they, once they had the lead, they, they shelled up. And this is conservative play to say the least. NHL coaches look to this when you have the lead, the dump on the power play. Hale worthy of tail trying to get back in the game. Sully up ahead, making Paul just take an extra step. And he walks it in. And the computer, nice shot, but the rebound. And now we have a one goal game. We have a game on our hands. Can Ale Worthy of Tail pull it out of the ragging blue flyers? We'll see. Coming up, blue flyers coming down in the zone. Hesitation and a shot that beats the goaltender and that would be the dagger. Tried everything in the books and then the ragging continues and it got very bad. It was, the rage was real. And the goalie should have had that shot in the slot, but didn't know what to do. The goaltender gave up that goal, and that pretty much buried Ale Worthy of Tail. And you'll see just the amount of ragging by this team, and we'll transition over to yet a faceoff. Paul trying to make it a one goal game, walking in the slot, and does that little mm, snippet, as the cool kids say. Makes the game a one goal game, but. Again, it didn't really matter because the team just, again, shells up 
And you have to wonder, NHL coaches, this can work for you. Anytime you have the lead, just skate like this and you'll be golden. They go off sides, but with 32 or 30 something seconds left, it doesn't really matter. And again, they just ragged it out, you know, did all that cool stuff. And so, Ale Worthy of Tail can't really come out from behind to pull this victory off. Here are their gamer tags. Stay tuned for next week's episode, guys, with Russia almost killing Sully, aka OG Chipmunk, aka OG Snowflake. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. Send them a lovely message. I'm out.